people who might disagree that it sucks to be you, I think their lives might suck even more. <laughs> Up next we have the first years. <laughs> of September, three rather short grad students with somewhat hairy feet set off together from Burge. <laughs> but one of them had a secret possession, an heirloom that was passed on from an earlier graduate student, the stapler. The wizard Tom insisted that the stapler would no longer be safe in Burge, so he told the grad students that they should go to Quantum Dell Home of Commons, where it might be safe for a time. They had barely started on their journey when they were detected by the black prelims, the servants of the <laughs> What's going on? Why are those things after us? I don't know, but this sucks. Hush, they will hear us. Oh no, I think they can sense when the stapler is near. <laughs> Fortunately, they were rescued in the nick of time by Farmer Kevin Young. <laughs> you know, the next time you have a problem like that, there's very simple approximation. <laughs> With the help of Farmer Kevin, the grad students were eventually able to leave Birch, but they soon found themselves lost in a forest of old equations. Soon. The most perilous of all the equation trees, Maxwell, had the naive graduate students in his grasp and was busy trying to fit them into a spherical conducting shell. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, along came Oreganor, known in other works as Tom Bombadil. Oreganor, <laughs> That eraser. The strings are so stringy, and my chalk keeps breaking. <laughs> Help us, sir. The Maxwell equation train is trying to pull us into a conducting sphere. Ah, oh, young students, stuck in a conductor, are we? <laughs> <clears throat> let's find the right notation and let Newton do its thing. Change the gauge and let's get some more wise. Define that to be equal and. Chop off some laws, have a look at Jackson, and use some Greek letters. Have a look at Jackson and use some Greek letters. <laughs> Let's roll up our sleeves and introduce some tensors. Look it up on Wikipedia, then 50 formulas later. Now let's do some algebra, but first, a differentiation. One more step, now on to some physics. Finally, you're all free. Free. <laughs> <laughs> and Maxwell gets the flux. Thanks so much for rescuing us. Come along to my office now and we can get some turkey. Or if you are a vegetarian, we'll have some soy instead. It's fluxing in the Z direction. What is? It. What? It? It? <laughs> I'll practice with the chalk over the weekend. The atmosphere is boxing. You want? When I was young and tried to draw the graph, the Lagrangian is a figment of your imagination. Now for something completely different. Puff! Field theory. Get the coffee ready. The antenna is magical and it has a gap. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, 
when they were finally settled in Ori's office after their horrible ordeal, he asked much of the grad students. Let me ask you a riddle. Are you nano people or macro people? He also told them about himself. Let me say a few things that might or might not be true. <laughs> That is why I wore long sleeves today. <laughs> they were puzzled, however, because he kept making reference to his lab. So I have this giant superconductor in my lab. <laughs> <laughs> then I add a flame here and get some actual applications. <laughs> they also noticed that for some reason the stapler's presence had no effect on him. The piles of papers on his desk remained completely unstable. Why doesn't the stapler affect you at all? Let's follow Enron's lead and not ask why. <laughs> <laughs> now, how much time do we have? After a brief rest, Ori offered to take them back to the road to Quantum Dell. But first, they had to go to a Roger Mong discussion session. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, today's class I'm going to talk about polar coordinates and magnetic monopoles. Everyone knows polar coordinates. Talk about some needles. Okay, um, let's have story time today. I will tell you about the little electric dipole that could. By <laughs> Okay, so you start out with the charges, so a row looks like this, and then you have J. You've all seen this problem before, right? You know, like in a great price, and uh, I don't know, there's probably some minus I can do or something. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, I don't know where your homework is, and I lost the grader as well. Does anyone have his email address? Come along now, graduate students. <laughs> But wait, don't leave me yet. I can tap dance. <laughs> 